Hello everyone, in this lecture we will discuss one of the most important topic of the calculus that is limit. Limit of a function f of x is x tends to a number l is l. The limit of function is l with the property with the property as x gets closer and closer to a number a then limit of the function f of x f of x comes closer to closer limit l we as as f of x f of x has limit l is x comes closer and closer to a number l symbolically we write limit of the function f of x is l as x approaches a number l how let's see this with an example and with some more example we saw what what does mean by this x approaches a x approaches a doesn't mean that the value of x is exactly a but its its meaning is that is its value the value of x approaches approaches a number suppose we have suppose this number is 5 that x approaches a x tends to a x x tends to 5 this 5 it meaning that the 5 uh, value of x is not on, not exactly 5 its value may be very nearer to 5 it may be its value may be 0 0.0001 0 0.002 0 0.003 like these means with a small uh, small uh, small change 4.999999 in this way means the value of x approaches 5 the meaning of this is the value of x approaches 5 for example now at the first place we have some formulas formulas of uh, limit and after this we will solve some examples of limit okay well, some useful formulas of limit sin x upon x limit x tends to a when the value of x are x tends to 0 0 approaches 0 limit is, limit of this function sin x upon x is 1 Okay, limit x tends to 0 limit of this function will be 1 limit of this function x power x minus 1 upon x a power x minus 1 upon x when x approaches 0 will be L natural log of A. Okay, similarly we have some formula. This is one of the useful formula. Limit x tends to infinity of the function 1 plus 1 upon x whole power x equal to E. Okay, similarly this formula. This formula and this formula are similar in some extent. Okay, just the difference of this M. Okay, similarly we have this formula limit f y tends to 0 1 plus 1 plus n y n y whole power 1 upon y equal to e power n and similarly we have this formula these both are same similar just there is difference of n and here okay okay similarly we have the formula formula number fifth 10 x upon x equal to 1 these formulas are useful we will use them uh, for finding the limit okay so let's solve some examples of uh, limit problems we already have discussed that when x approaches 2 it doesn't mean that the value of x is exactly 2 but it, its meaning is that the value of x approaches 2 okay so we have many possibilities okay that value uh, of x we can substitute if we put direct value 2 here will be infinity we will get infinity means x 2 minus 2 will be infinity right so we have to try to evaluate it in different way we have many different ways one way we can find its factors its factors may be x minus 2 its factors are x minus 2 and x plus 2 solution okay so let's find their factors x tends to 2 x minus 2 x plus 2 upon x minus 2 
one way is this one there are many other ways as well but this is easy approach we are trying to solve this in easy approach because these are first steps to solve the problems okay x minus 2 x minus 2 has been cancelled limit x tends to 2 x plus 2 applying limit as x comes closer and closer to this limit of this function gets closer and closer to 2 plus 2 that's 4 this is answer okay question number 2 as we know that limit x upon x is, limit x tends to 0 sin x upon x is 1 we have mentioned in formula so here we have to make this angle and the the, the divisor means denominator same so let's make that limit solution x tends to 0 sin 3x upon here we write 3x and multiply 3 means we have multiplied 3 and divided 3 now we know well this is equal to 1 applying limit we have this is equal to 1 1 into 3 that's equal to 3 answer ok now let's solve this example this example in this example we have to do nothing direct we can put value ok it looks that it is difficult but that's very easy just apply limit directly applying limit applying limit we have 2 plus 2 equal to 4 ok and here we have 0 0 upon square root 4 that we, we will get 0 that's answer ok question number 4 in question number 4 we can resolve this we can resolve this by finding factors a q minus b q ok as we know a q minus b q equal to a minus b a square plus a b plus b square similarly we have to decompose this ok let's decompose this limit x tends to 1 ok by decomposing this we will get x square plus x plus 1 divide by x minus 1 ok these both has been divided into each other has been cancelled in, in each other right these both have been cancelled now applying limit applying limit we have 1 1 1 ok x tends to 1 so we will get 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3 ok question number 5 in question number 5 here the tan angle the angle of tan is sin x and in dvn we also have sin x what we have to do we have to take a, it as a supposition we have to take this as a supposition in a variable ok so let sin y let sin is equal to sin x equal to y so at the place of this here we will write y but as a x tends to pi a x tends to pi so sin will tends to sin or y will tends to put pi here if we put pi here so so y will tends to 0 the sin pi will be 0 so y will tends to 0 so this new limit becomes becomes y variable is y now y tends to 0 10 10 y upon y 10 y upon y already we know this formula as well as if we solve we will get 1 this is equal to 1 ok question number 6 solution in question number 6 this is well known this is similar to the formula of E so we have to convert it here we don't have 2 if we had 2 here means same here same number in dvn means inverse of this here we would have got we would have got e so let's make this like e formula limit 
x tends to infinity okay and uh, 1 plus 2 upon x here x upon 2 divide 2 and multiply 2 dividing 2 and multiplying 2 means that this becomes we have divided 2 and this is in multiply we when we multiply it it becomes same ok so we know well this is equal to e applying limit e power this is equal to e and this power 2 we got e square that's answer.